Yeah. <laughs> Hit it though. He's telling you you're going to pay us. So tonight's show is totally improvised, and the show um, uh, is in four sections. Before I explain the four sections, the context of the show is that you all are residents living on the Mary Warner estate in South London. Hello? Can you look at me? I'm talking, yeah? Just pay attention to me. Thank you. So you're residents living on this estate. Some of you know each other, some of you may not know each other. But you're all residents on this estate. And this show takes place over a weekend. Uh, the first section that you're about to see will be, can you look at me? Hello, I'm here, yeah? Pay attention to me, yes? The first section is a series of improvised scenes which kind of establish the world and the characters. The second section will be the opportunity for you as residents to meet some of these characters, to further investigate what you think is going on or what needs to happen. And I'll explain more of that later. And then the third section is where we come to a, a meeting and we try to get into the grips of the issues that are at hand. And then the final section is the concluding scenes that outplay tonight's drama. But for now, sit back, relax, Ladies and gentlemen, I give you without planning permission. Yo, what's up guys? It's Dave here. Back with another video. See, I'm trying to be a future filmmaker, win Oscars and all that. But you know, before I get big, I want to show you guys the estate that I came from. What are you looking at? You, 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 you always film me, you want to film something? Come film this, man. Film real life. On here, yeah? I've got a great find. Yeah. People throw anything these days, man. There's a fucking ways, isn't it? Life pays you back if you really like look deeply. I look deeply into the places where other people don't look. They don't want to look. It looks dirty. When you really look, not that often. <laughs> that's the real fucking Bartley card. Oh. <laughs> People are so careless, they'll even throw away their identity. Can you believe that? Throwing away something so important as your identity. Don't worry, mate. Should have recycled. I'll keep it for you, though. I'll keep it. I'll recycle it, don't worry. Don't you worry about it. Yeah, yeah. Like, that's one of the benefits of being paranoid, is that you would never be so careless about something so precious, you know what I mean? There's only one downside, as far as I can see, from being paranoid. Yeah? You listen! That's uh, four pounds, sir. How are you doing anyway? All right. Four pounds, three fifty last week. Yeah, that's the way it is now. So inflation, things are going up, cost of living, all that sort of stuff. Well, boy, well, but you guys want to squeeze every last drop in it. That's the way it is, man. It's well, four pounds. You want to pay for it? Next week, it's going to be like thirty man for air. You feel me? So you give me two much there. Four pounds, two pound back to you. Oh, yeah, boss man, I'm taking that. Yeah. Oh, excuse yeah. me. Yeah. I need to talk to you. It's just right? a red ball. It's just a red ball. It's nothing. It's nothing. Yeah. Listen, what do you mean you talk to me? You do this to me every time. What are you talking about every time? Look, you're a young lad. You, you need to think about this now, because look, you're going to need to it's just one Red Bull. I've got a tag with you. You no, know me. You know my face. You know my mum. You've I'm been knowing me since I was a little boy. No, What's the big deal? It's one drink, bro. We're communicating here. Look. Yeah, look, I know we are. Every time you do this, at some point we're going to have to refuse. We'll call the police. Oh, fuck off, mate. I need a drink. Look, I don't need this right now. Children coming to this place. They're not in here now, are they? It's two men talking. Look, my friend. Look, look. I'm going to have to call the police. Listen, brother, right? Excuse me. People like you, yeah, they fucking to tear you. down the I'm community. Trying to help you. Yeah? It's one fucking drink. I'm trying to help with my friend. My friend. I'm trying to help you. Oh my gosh, there he goes again. Okay, 
Guys, guys, guys. Yes, yes, yes. Guys, guys, listen. Yeah. Thank you for coming today. As you can see, look, concrete, yes? yes. We want to get rid of the concrete. Yes. We've got greenery for our children, yes? If the council had their way, they would mind about the concrete. They want to build a car park. You don't need no more car park. We don't want a car park. We don't need yeah. no more car park. We need a community well, garden. I mean, look at all this space we have here. It's, it's mad. utilized. It's for use. Exactly. Yeah. We need more green space. The details of around here. The details. Yeah. yeah. We don't need to take take that down down. We have we enough. Pe that. We have enough people on this estate in this community. Yes. Plumbers, wood carpenters, uh, 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 metal people. We, we have people here that can actually build a, a safe place for the children. You, you're right. You're right. And even on top of that, we've got. Right, electricians, qualified electricians yeah. that are prepared to put up additional lighting, mm -hmm. as well as not to mention security that we do need it. And and gardeners, don't forget gardeners. My yeah. cousin is a gardener. Um, yes, exactly. Herbalist. One thing. He's got herbalist. Look at these plants. Look how run down they are. No one from the council has come along and actually put new put new seeds in. Mm. We can so do that. So money man, yeah. so the finance man. You've heard we've got people well, who can do the work without getting well, we paid. Can, we can get them to do it. Mates rates, so if we can get them to yeah. do it for free, that'll be even better. If we can, yeah. but they live live on the estate. Yeah, we yeah. could we could we could try and talk to them if they want if they want us to give them cash. We could try and. So the main object is if the wind rushes can do it when they came over to build London, we yes. can build this community. Yes, yes. yes. So we agree. Yes. We're gonna yes. go ahead without planning permission because this it's pissing is down. Yes, yeah, we agree on that. Let's yeah, go. it's raining. Yeah, man, we yeah, yeah, agree. Yeah. Yeah. All right, let's go. Let's Hurry do up. it. It's sure raining. Us, yes. Man. Keep looking for small chips, any small compressors. Maybe there's parts of a microwave in there. We can use that for our, for our time machine. Jacob, I sent you somewhere to educate. What do you want? Go away. Look, we're trying to save melanin rich people. Keep looking for capacitors, any parts. It's not hell. I'm telling you. Anything electrical. Jacob, come on. We've. Jacob. There's nothing here. We didn't. I didn't spend all this money putting you somewhere. I'm a professor. You are my intern. There's we must here. save melanin-rich people. Hey, you. What are you doing here? We're here. We're, we're recycling. Don't don't worry about that. We're just recycling. My name is Jason. I live in this estate. It's fine. I've lived here forever. You know me. I'm the only guy who's Harvard. You know Oxford. I've got all of these things in my bag. I'm just here trying to help my community make it better. You see this rain? We can stop it before it turns into acid rain. Jacob, stop thinking, start looking. Processors, it's processors, processors, processors. We must say. All right, bye, see you later. All right, see you, okay. Uh, yes, I need to talk to you, you live on, yes, we've got our community meeting next week um, at the community center. Any problems, anything you want to know, just let me know and I'll raise it up in the committee. Better still, you come along to it and you say your pieces, all right? I'm just going to go down here to see Mrs. Jones, all right? What the? What's going on here? What do you want? What are you doing in the bin? I'm looking for parts for my contraptions, which what are contraption? to save the world. I've told you this before. Listen, I've been on this estate forever. It's, it's, it's Jason, I'm, yeah? Yes, you know it's Jason. I, I really need to see you. We've got a committee meeting next week. Are you going to attend? Next week? How about the future? I'll tell you what, I will come with information that's going to reveal everything and save us all. As long as you come, the more the better. May I please have old microwaves and... Old microwaves? Old mi microwaves and I need old fridges. I need the elements. Bring them to the we'll meeting. We'll speak to the council about disposing that for you. No, no, no. Bring no, it up to the I'm community busy. meeting, yeah? I've got things I need to find. Yeah, but you need to come out the bin, mate. That's not healthy. That's not healthy. Yeah, 
some of the ladies are complaining. Said that there's a light skin Russell Brand looking guy hanging around. Come on, mate. If you're home good, if you're home good. Please, please, I'll live right here. Come on, man, please. Make my life a little bit easier, okay? Okay? Why do I want to make your life easier? Get off me, man. Come on, come on. What is it? You alright? What's the issue? You were for What? What? What are you good things. You're not bad things. All kids done. Hey, hey, hey. No, to be fair, to be fair. You didn't have such a massive amount of space when I see you walking around my house. Yeah, Make sure you be there. Don't let me know. The lies. The lies. The old school are lies. Come on, man. Just try to help you. Come on. Just take your power off of here, man. Take your power off of here. Poison. 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 <laughs> Don't worry about it. You just get back to do what you're doing, like you see, it's like all that more funky stuff. You're making the way you still here, right? <laughs> <laughs> I'll do it with you. I'll do it with you, honey, yeah? Yo, Tommy, what's up, bro? What's up? You told me you were the vegetarian. Look, yeah? You told me you need bacon. So what are you doing? Talking to me. I keep telling you that you're one of the good ones. Look, listen, look. Look, brother, brother, brother. Brother, pig, always a pig. Come on, bro. <laughs> I'm just trying to please the community. It's bad enough the shit that I get down the station for being black with one of the few officers. Now we've got to come on the street, and the guys that I'm trying to hurt are just giving me grief all the time. Man. Come on. Yeah. I'm just trying to help, man. I'm oh, sorry, officer. It's come to me. Oh, 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 Running around all shooty shooty and stabby stabby, I'm saying. You, your ancestors will be proud of you. Is this, is this, your, is this your, de your dedication to them? Is this an honor to who you want to represent regarding the wind rush? Is this what we're doing? There's no point in suggesting how it's over here. Definitely your top lip, my friend. What, say me? And there's me thinking my day could not be any worse. Wow, you should be proud, bro. Yo, Stunk and Nancy, yeah? Stay where you are, you mouth here, yeah, right? I don't know what you're doing on the community, because all you're doing when you come here is you're BS, yes? Have I ever seen you get your hands dirty? You just stand there and preach. Preach what? You stink, mate. You're like a raccoon, you stink. Why are you doing it? Goodbye. You're, you're behaving like the embodiment of the stagnation in this community. Oh, oh, oh. That's it! That's it! You see this? Do you see this? Is this not what we expect from like football hooligans running down the terraces, kicking paying customers in the head because they lost, calling, you know, the proud members of the England team monkeys? Do you expect this from your own? It's very sad, it's very sad. And I won't be paying for their parents' failings either. I'm a very proud, upstanding member of this community. My name is Paris Wood of Umbra! <laughs> and get away from me, crackhead! <laughs> Hey, Mr. 
Mr. Charlieman. <laughs> Let's just talk about 
I know that this is no future. <laughs> Do you know what? My shift is over, you know, bro. I'll have to see you later, okay? Be good. anything like this before. I mean, I mean, yesterday, it was what, 30, 40 degrees? <coughs> yeah, <there> you are. <coughs> and then the night before, mm -hmm. it was like a hurricane, rain everywhere. <coughs> oh, and then so, the I've got a sofa, I've got my scout boys in. Oh, right. Sorry, Mr. Chair. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I'm going to just clean up again. Yeah? So forgive me if I'm going to be interrupting while I'm coming <coughs> It's just a change of climate. The patient's not helping. They're not becoming. Got three feet. Have you had the chance to watch the heat? Have you had the opportunity to book an appointment with the doctors? Get, have you, get, get to see Jimmy? You're really lucky, mate. Appointment with the doctor. <laughs> yeah, I don't understand that. Anyway, so, I've called this emergency committee <coughs> meeting just to address some concerns the community has been having recently. Did you get my email, by the way? Good. <laughs> 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 Young man, what was that? Ignore, ignore. Oh, so, 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 gentlemen, hold on, gentlemen, gentlemen, gentlemen. So, um, I've invited the local. I invited the community officer because we have some very important concerns. You should have got a seat for him then. Well, if we'd like to get up your seat. Not really. Keep quiet. It's all this. So. I'll just stand at the end. Okay, thank you. So, pressing on. So, first concern is raised by our esteemed pastor on the, on the estate. Pastor Alban, would you like to say anything? It's regarding cost of living. <coughs> <laughs> well, I just have to say that I need volunteers for one extra day for the food bank. I told you I was a volunteer. Never said nothing. Yeah? Volunteer? Do you have any volunteers for the food bank? Our volunteer oh. provided us an extra food bank. Because we don't have I okay. saw so be tin food as well. Okay, can we have be a vote? Food. Can we have a vote? So how many of you are going to vote? Be volunteers at Food Bank? If I get oh, paid, definitely me. One day, two, one day. What song would you? Providing the natural food. Okay. Vegetables. Alkaline. 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 Not batteries. Mm. Sorry, sorry, let me just say. The food is given, so you can, cannot choose. 
Exactly. Uh, beggars can be choosers. Exactly. We remember what happened last time. I mean, I took some tins home to the kids. They had no labels on there. I thought it was baked beans, but it was actually dog food. Oh, 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 oh. 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 Should be more careful. Oh, yes. yes. yeah. <laughs> yeah. Look here. Yes. 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 Whiskers. Uh, uh. <laughs> Steve, 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 Steve. Steve. Uh, come, come in. Take a seat. Take a seat. I'm coming. I saw you, Mr. Steve. Mr. Steve. Yeah, come on, grab a seat and come and sit down. Some people are sleeping. Residents only. 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 Can we crack on with the meetings? I'll go to my kids. Um, right. Yeah, so, one more thing about the food bank. So, um, I don't know if you read the recent report or watched the Sky Valley News on Sky News. They were talking no, about, you know, milk, baby milk on formula being rationed at food banks. And we know we have a lot of mothers living on our state. Baby so mamas. Maybe you have, I haven't. <laughs> so, <laughs> sure, man, sure, yeah. so we have to, you know, encourage, you know, Absolutely. donations. Absolutely. You know, if you go down to the co-op, go down to Sainsbury's, text us on the, see if we can get a couple of donations. What? <laughs> Thank what, you. What, what happens to natural breastfeeding? You gonna volunteer then? Alright, let's uh, move on. Let's yes. move on. Yes. Very quickly. Okay, let's move on. We got yeah. the food bank, we do need another one. Because you see over in Wembley, oh, their geez. food bank was going like <coughs> two kilometers down the road. Is that greedy? Oh, yeah. 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 So we need another food bank. It's cost of living, it's not the greedy, it's cost of living. Alright, moving on. Second agenda item housing repair. So oh. I had an email oh. from a resident. Oh, uh, you definitely got my email there, Mr. Chair. Yes, but, I did. Um, I'm really, really at my wit's end. I really just don't know what to do. I got this letter from the council in big letters at section 21. Have you got a letter on you? Show it. And I open the letter, and I've got to go to court. Wow. I'm paid rent, rent arrears. Why did you I, pay your rent? I wouldn't say it's a lot, it's only three grand. I didn't pay my rent because I was disputing the squalid flat that I'm living. Mould, not to mention the windows are falling apart. And on top of that, it's advocating my asthma. And not to mention my two beautiful kids. Yeah, you've got a spare asthma so you just take that one. Right? <laughs> oh, yeah. You used that already? Yeah. Oh, wow. That's not enough with damn condition. Because our next door neighbour has the same situation. Hold on, hold on, I'll hand for you. Yeah. <coughs> okay, now, okay, Mr. Chair. Now, I have a lot of respect for you. You're a hard-working, upstanding gentleman. Now, you shouldn't be paying your landlord if he's leaving your home in disrepair and he has your children breathing in the mould that he only cares to paint over. <coughs> well, I heard this very recently well, from the well, renters' well, union meeting. We don't, I know Re a death that can be experience. And this is something Let's that just you, do, do you require Hold on, hold on. Would you like a death? Hold on. 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 Yes, um, T Brown and probably that's an emergency. So, what I'm going to offer a smart speaker. <laughs> <laughs> so, hold on. So, we're talking about repairs. <laughs> but, I need, but what I need to do, I, I need your dad's details. I think your dad lives with Mr. Seeley, yes? Mr. Seeley in, in 48 on the fourth floor. Oh, I know. I know. I know. I know. I know. I know. Yes, I'm fine. I'm fine. I'm fine. Boydie, that's for you and the new unit right? Listen, listen, this is for you. It's a bit of money, mate. It's a bit of money. My dad just said, don't take money from strangers. Oh, that's nice. Oh, that's nice. Sorry, sorry. 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 Don't get to him, he's going to buy crack. So, yeah, sorry. Don't get to him. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Sorry, are you saying? I'm just saying that I think he needs support if you the union. Agree. I have to take to court next week. I think this is what we're for in terms of our paternal. If he has a presence of us around him, I'm pretty sure that will fare well with the judge. Yeah. Uh, Tommy, we're going to yes. put it to a vote. 
All those going to attend to support him at that court. Are we going to get hi. refreshments? I'll, I'll get the missus to send over some Jamaican patties. No, 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 I've got questions, you can like that. <laughs> uh, so, moving on, <laughs> moving on to the next agenda item, and may I introduce you again, our esteemed guest, PC Marshall. <laughs> Respect to PC. <laughs> yeah, so the floor is yours, sir. Officer uh, Babylon. Uh, Babylon. Babylon. It's not Babylon. officer, it's Babylon. Say the law. No, it's bubbles. No. <laughs> 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 gentlemen, yeah, yeah, get over yeah, with it, man. Gentlemen, gentlemen. So, so, before, you start, worry about. Before, you, before you start, sir. So, the concerns... You just wait there. I'm waiting. The concerns have been from the residents. So, there's been had drug paraphernalia what? on the corridors and lifts. On the stairwell as well. Yeah, there's kids. That won't even made that one. Used needles. <laughs> used needles on, on the stage. The CSC CS cancers, you know, I think they're calling the uh, laughing, gas. Gas. laughing gas and the yeah. balloons. <laughs> <laughs> That's no laughing matter, that is it? <laughs> exactly. Um, also, residents have been feel intimidated by drug users. Who said that? Young Who was it that said that? Which one? <coughs> Confidential. <laughs> yes. And also, you know, quite recently there's been two fatalities, yeah. one on the bus, one just down the road, oh, yeah. on the green, yeah, when they were stabbed, so, you know, oh, we need a, a, a physical police presence on the estate. So, Mr. Marshall, will you take it away, sir? I acknowledge your hand, sir. Oh, Mr. Marshall? Let the pig squeal. Yeah, thank you, thank you for inviting me. Thank you for inviting me, guys. Great, great to see all you guys. No, 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 no. 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 respect for the gentleman. Okay, all right. Okay. So, okay. Parliamentary okay. procedure. Thank you. Thank you for inviting me. Glad to see all you fine black gentlemen who care about the community. Oh, yeah. oh thanks, man. Thank no, you. Okay. What I will tell you is basically, we're woefully underfunded. But what we actually could do is some firemen like yourselves who understand the community and understand the problems that we're facing to actually come and join the police force and then we can all police our own neighbourhoods. How does that sound? You want me to walk a Babylon? You want me to walk a Babylon? I'm here to check on my front door. Look, 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 look. Everybody complains that the police don't understand our community. But if the community don't get involved with the police, we just go around in circles. I'm the only one in my force. And I'm not going to lie, it's hard. We have Absolutely. more black men in there. Absolutely. Then we can do something. Absolutely. I totally agree. And what? I totally agree with it. I, mean, I question that decision because. Why? We all know the system is corrupt. Yeah. So, yeah, yeah. 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 so, what power are we going to have yeah. as police officers in this system, this racist yeah. system? Look, 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 I can't Three. tell you that we're going to change everything on overnight. Exactly. But at least when I stop someone on the street, I give them a chance. I know their struggle. I might even look the other way. Is that a promise? Really? <laughs> <laughs> so you push your luck, but it, it's, it's one of those things. Unless we get involved, unless we got a dog in the fire, nothing's going to change. Question All right, I've got a question for you. I've got a question for you. Peppa Pig, I've got a question for you. I respect. I respect. How can you respect, <laughs> you expect <laughs> the youth of today to join the police force, when half the time you're doing is stop and bloody searching them for no good reason. Look, 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 you have to understand, it's a circular thing. People are like, stop the crime. And then when we take measures to stop the crime, people are like, oh, you're picking on the youth. What do you want us to do? It's how would you get to the Calm down, this is why you're next. Like I said, under resourced. No, no. German at the end. I feel like David Dimbill being here. Listen, I've been working the local authority. I've seen how this stop and search works. It's not effective at all because the young people are constantly being targeted. Mm -hmm. yeah. Not just them. And I've seen it by even black officers because they're in the system, as I've said before. The system is racist. The system is corrupted. There is no black 
office at yeah. any level that has the power to make the change. Amen. So how effective are well, your presence in the community going to be? No. Unless you give us a chance to put in our own form of policing. Maybe some parents can after school policing to make sure kids get home from school safe. I'll do it. I've got three times. I'm telling you what. You're going to do my favorite now. You know what I'm saying? Hold on. Hold on. I'm just, I'm just, uh, as you are uh, friends with the mayor. Oh, why yes. don't you do anything? He's scorching you. <laughs> I, I mean, I'm just the mayor. I, I mean, me. Yeah. There's nothing I can do about temperature. I I can't <laughs> hot, cold, hot, cold. I can't Rich. control the climate change. Yeah, yeah. I can't. The weather, the weather's bipolar. Yeah. The moment it's hot, oh, no. The it's hot. Yeah. I'm not going to do it about my preference. Wait a minute. No, I've got to say something. What am I going to do about my quality street, my tree cool, my crumpet? All going walking. It's got this man. Don't pay for it. No, if you're crumpet, it's not my fault, you know. Oh, no. uh, yes. Gentlemen at the airport. Can the policeman tell me what is so hot today? <laughs> yeah, Mr. Pin. I ain't got all the answers, man. <laughs> you ain't got any of them. <laughs> now, this upstanding gentleman <laughs> that is being disrespected on a daily basis. You the tell me what he shows. <laughs> Look at this. Please, please come. Please come. Come on, come on. The committal that this gentleman shows the community. He should be committed. He should not. <laughs> I'm not taking that stop, bro. I'm holding out that you got something. Gentlemen, we have to decide this. Now, now, are we going to take action or not? Here's, here's my yeah, point. Absolutely. Let's get to the point. When These kids, point? the lethality of the youth on the streets. When's your point? It's yeah. like Lord of the Flies. They're killing each other like it's point? nothing. It's nothing to them. How can you leave this man near enough naked on the street? Where's his badge? Where's his gun? Where's the, the these naked. kids need to see something convincing. No gun. 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 I was researching for and so looking for and trying you to find the you less cameras. No, yeah. it is me that's trying to save our future. Alright, I'm gonna give you out. Guys, let's see a Let's No, 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 no. Let's see a I wanted to save the melanin rich and take them from this planet to a safer place. <laughs> what? <laughs> what? <laughs> no, no. Then I realized <laughs> there was a flaw in my argument. What? No. So I travel to the future to find answers. Oh, Jesus Christ. <laughs> I am not joking. I went to 2045. Mm -hmm. 2045 on our estate. Mm -hmm. In our borough. What was it good? <laughs> My mind what? is disturbed by the things I have seen. Tell, tell. Because we did not take it seriously, climate change is a real issue. I said climate change is a real issue. So tell us then. You think I'm joking? Imagine your kids love to play football. Where's oh, you'll be playing it in a flood. You think about the honey that you have in the morning with your tea. <coughs> you think you. about the things that your kids need as nourishment. <coughs> Imagine. 
if the temperature goes up just by three degrees. That's a good pan that was. <laughs> Still not taking me seriously. I'm so distraught. Don't try and bully me. We were in the same school. I am the smartest person in the room! It's not saying much. What did you say it's not saying? Officer, man, I am not mad. I am not mad. Now you don't understand. It's none of you understand. If you don't look after what is here now, there is nothing. Sit down, sit down, sit down, sit down. Sit down, sit down, sit down. Sit down, sit down, sit down. Sit down, sit down. You will be dead. Let him talk. Me? What are you? You will be dead! And all because of what? Not paying attention to what is here, what is now. Must be resolved. Don't look at me like I'm crazy. You think I'm crazy? Yeah. You it's think I'm crazy? Mind, yeah. Officer! You think I'm crazy? You think I'm off my trolley? Yeah. Let me get it out. Don't get it out. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. I spent the last 15 years on this estate trying to produce some substance for the melanin rich to help them enrich their lives to go forward. But there are worse things ahead of us. Like what? Worse no things. We need to start no. using less water. Wash twice a day. If you're like me, wash once a month. <laughs> <laughs> that is true. Mark me if you will. Mark me if you will. Okay. I shall now show you the reality that will come. If we do not resolve these issues, I mean, no more need for different type of clothing. Everyone wears the same. No, That's I, it. No, 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 that can't work. I, I like my Hugo Boss. It resolves it. <laughs> you laugh. You want to laugh at me. I went to Oxford, Harvard. I'm the smartest, very rich man in the United Kingdom. Just get on with it, will ya? Shut up, bully. Right, I'm going to show you. <laughs> Hello, yes, my name is Mr. Thomas, I'm the Chief of Police. I'm here to coordinate his meeting. <coughs> this is the perfect example of the climate change having the effect on the respiratory system. Make sure you have your respiratory pulse going. Anyone? found outside of the perimeter will be shot because of the radiation. So if you stay inside here, you will be given your clothing, you will be given, <laughs> you will be given your oxygen mask, otherwise you will be shot. I will do the fireman. And I am, I am, I am asking you, all of us. I think he's showing some radiation. We are taking care of him. Come on, Trey, get him out. Quick, get him out. Taking care of Food bank over here. Food bank. Hello, customer. You are customer. You want food? You want sustenance? Yes. You want a refill? This is refill. Endless refill. This is the company there. I don't know what it is. But listen to that. This is for you. Sustenance when you need it. Yes, okay. It's not ginseng. It's not. It's not Irish mass. It's similar. Okay, similar. I can't. My country own tea garden. Here you go. Please, please, energy, energy, energy. Please. No talking. Breathe, breathe. Really it energy, really it energy. Try again, that's good energy, good energy. Good energy, well done, well done. You're doing good, you're doing good. Nelly there, Nelly there, one donor. Sustenance. There you go. It's amazing, but there's things that must be done. Get off me, get off me. Get off me. Ah, ah. I've been to the future. I've seen it. It's amazing. But there's things that must be done. Ah, get off me. Get off me. They're everywhere. I've got trouble from the past. I'm in the future. I'm in the fucking future. I'm in the 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 future. i when I arrived, I thought it was going to be great things. I thought it was going to be great things, brother. <laughs> I got there. In so much bizarreness. <laughs> the only thing that was left were pebbles and stones. Are you going to continue to allow this disruption? I no, you have to listen. Uh, officer, please. No, 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 no,
who need our help. I think your days are numbered. The brothers at the lodge aren't going to like this. We are the smartest people in the room. Why must we be up banging heads like oh, alligators fighting frogs? Oh, fuck You've had your chance. You've been You've got looking out secrets. These are our best friends. These no, Jason. This is the last community, Jason. This is the last hope you will all have. We will all have, Jason. Our children. Jason. You don't realise all the white people move up to Scotland to higher lands. The only people who are left in the cities. The only people that are left in the cities. And the poor black people and the Asian people are really not even the left of the half machine. And you're talking time machine. Let them talk. You don't understand. Your grandchildren are paramount to changing this world that we live in today. You don't ever speak to me again. I'm glad I met you in the future. Suffer with arthritis. Cancer's coming to your balls. Okay. But you must listen to me. You are very dead, my friend. I can even show you how it happens. What about my I saw that in a dream. But I am prepared to say, you have three options. Sniff, don't sniff, don't lay. Counselor, this is a knife. Listen, I'm and telling all of you, I need your help right now. It's beyond just bottles. We have to think about, as I said, what we wear, what we hear, what we see, in order to make a practical and concise change. But your son, there are words that I would say to you. Tell your grandson he must never give up. He must never stop his fight. And when the white man comes and the politicians and the policemen come, he must gather his people to the highest point of Rockwell Park. He's a great man. Have you seen Terminator? He is a great man. I have. We must help the men and rich in this environment. Yes. Because they will be absorbed by the heat and the rain. There will be no food. All those people are so tired. There are not going to be no gangs. There are not going to be no crops. There will be too hard. Take your clothes. Start recycling. Only wash your clothes. Do it in the morning. You don't understand. This is about the men and the rich. We must save the men and the rich. Your granddaughter, she is facing it. She's the last child of the new Jews. Because of the climate change. We are right out in multiple places. What about Sienna? She left, she went to Australia. Australia is now the size of Ireland. Just because of how much water it is. Liverpool is gone. Liverpool is gone. gone. We must be made in rich. 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 This is pathetic! Let him speak, let him speak! Hold on! What now? Oh, hold on! Yo, I lost this son! It's alright, son. Don't worry. It's okay, son. Don't worry. You want to report my balls! You need them anyway. You fools! Leg on the weed. Change the lifestyle. Don't be sad. You're coming in. Do you remember going to study the children under your scope? You yes. children first. Yes. And you're tired to process this. You can't ignore it. You can't ignore it. I think we just need time to process this. I think we've already wasted enough time. I think we just need time, quiet time, to just to reflect and think about it. Do you not believe anything? Nah, my You're son. You're a jury. My son's gonna be someone. <laughs> my grandchildren are gonna be someone. Power to the revolution! Climate change! No more television oh. for you, lot. Climate <laughs> <laughs> change. Nah. Bloody you, Les, about climate change, mate. Got me £17.50. <laughs> <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, that concludes the first part of our play.
Uh, we are now going to move into the second part of the play where you get an opportunity to meet some of our characters. <coughs> now remember, you are all residents living on the Mary Warner estate. Some of you may know each other already. But this part of the play gives you an opportunity to meet these characters in situation. <coughs> Some of them will be in their home, some of them will be at work, some of them will be in their cars, some of them will be elsewhere. It will be an opportunity for you to meet them to find out what's going on for them. What is at the heart of their concern? Perhaps what their concerns are might be similar to your concerns living on this estate. But until you meet them, you won't really know. So this part of the play is really an invitation for any one of you to come out of your seat right now, to come and meet these characters in situation and to listen to what they have to say. Essentially what they might be doing in theatrical terms would be a monologue, but you're not obliged to say or do anything at all. Just merely listen to what they have to say. But should you want to interact and speak or say or recommend or even give some advice, you're more than welcome. Please, now, up you get out of your seats, come and meet these characters to really meet them all in the short time we have, which is about 20 minutes, in order to find out what is really going on on your estate and what you should be doing, perhaps, to deal with this situation. Up you get. questions. Uh, can anybody share with us any concerns that you've gathered from the other residents? Is there anything you want to be shared here? Any concerns? Any insights? Any observations? Comments? Yes, sir. One of the residents are concerned about their children's safety. Oh dear. Okay. Is there anybody else who's got a concern for children on this? Can you put your hands up if you've got a concern for children on this estate? couple of people, not many. Okay, any other issues that you've picked up? Yes, sir? I'm concerned about their mental health. Yeah. You're concerned about their mental health? Yeah. Your residents? Yeah. Is there anything specific about th that, you're, that you're concerned or worried about or, or, or feel is at risk? I'm in no position to diagnose. <laughs> but it's quite evident that something is amiss. <laughs> Anything else that people picked up? <laughs> yes. <laughs> there seems to be conflicting and typical of us, lacking strong. Is that everyday politics? Is that the way things are? It seems, you know, self-fulfilling prophecy. I've been witnessed and seen what I saw. Anybody agree with this? Yes. yes. Some people, some people say no. Some people say yes. No, no. What other issues have you picked up from? Yes, madam, here. I think they were like they seem to be very angry. Angry about, about what? Things in general. Things in general, just being angry. I think there's like yeah, there's like sort of yeah. Things <coughs> They're disenchanted. Angry. Disenchanted. Angry black men. <laughs> oh, there you go. Coin phrase. Over here. There's definitely housing issues. There. Housing issues. Yeah, is this real? Is this real? Yes, it is. Everywhere you go is in this, in nothing, not only this borough. Um, I would be very concerned about social isolation. It seemed to me, it was to me that there was quite a lot of individuals that were on their own and possibly yeah. isolated. 
Yes. I spoke to a gentleman that had lost his family. He accidentally killed somebody, so he ended up in prison and he lost his family whilst he was there. But he seemed quite isolated and needed someone to speak to. Are so, you speak to you? You're a resident? I am, but you know, unless we... What happened occurred today, we wouldn't really speak to each other. So there is a lot of isolation. Sometimes we need community things to bring people together. Yeah. Here. Disabled access, but also. Uh, Disabled access. Yes, but also the lifts being out of order. Lots of this can affect anyone from like people uh, with physical disabilities, uh, mothers with parents, young children. Okay. Anything else that people want to say? Yes. And I would be concerned about the drug problem. It's not a problem. It's <laughs> <laughs> moderation. Everything in moderation. What can we do when we see someone on, on you know, on mm -hmm. our estate living with us who's got a drug problem? Do, is it our responsibility to go and <laughs> do an intervention, I'm call not sure. somebody? I'm not qualified to speak to somebody. I don't know what their journey is, what's their experience, what their experiences. I don't know how to assist. Okay. Well. So we're about to move into our third section before you've earned your break at the bar. Well deserved. Obviously there are some serious issues that you've raised here and I'm sure there are many other issues here that we need to kind of get to grips with and try to find some way forward. So I'm inviting you all to a community meeting. This community meeting, I think we can get into lots more of the <clears throat> specific issues that you're concerned about living on this estate. And perhaps it's an opportunity to, for you to learn from other residents about a way forward or what their concerns may be. But I think if we don't come together, as you say, we don't really know about each other. And here is an opportunity for us to come to a meeting because we all live on this estate and we can share our concerns about the things that matter to us. Come and take a seat. I'm just saying. I'm a scientist. We're going to start a public meeting now. Unfortunately, uh, we don't have a Zoom link for you, so uh, we're not included in the meeting. Thank you. Um, so. Thank you so much, residents, for coming tonight to this meeting. Perfect, really appreciate perfect. you giving up your time. We know how concerned you are. We've heard some of the comments. And uh, I suppose what we want to do tonight is to find a way forward. Based on the concerns that you all have, uh, this meeting here today is really about what do we do and how do we move forward. So, please, are there some more concerns that we'd like to hear that people never had a chance to speak before? Anybody who wants I to say? One. Yes. No. Uh, uh, madam, yes. My biggest concern is the way people like myself are treated when we're different and the police drag us out and beat us up mm. and treat us mm. like we're a piece of shit and we're lunatics and we're not. Don't touch yeah, yeah, yeah. Come on. Yeah. That's something we need to sort out. Yeah. People like us are special mm. and we need yeah. to be Take supported myself. and we need to be heard and listened to. Right. Mm. Thank you for raising that. That gentleman. Yeah. He's right. And where's the other guy gone? I'm here. Which Not you. I'm, <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm, yes. Yes. I'm the smartest man in the room. Yes. They're speaking a lot of truth about <laughs> Sorry, I can't hear. Sorry, one second. Yeah. They're Sorry. speaking a lot of truth about what's going on and they need to be heard. It's not just conspiracy. We need to listen to them. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Right. Back in the day. Can I just get a hands up? Also, I'm very concerned about the condition that you're living in. Mm -hmm. Yeah. With your, you know, windows falling out, moulding down, it's mm -hmm. unacceptable. Mm -hmm. And they're, they're counting up to have a damp shelter. Mm -hmm. And you shouldn't go to court um, on your own. Mm -hmm. And the community should get behind you. Actually, how do you know this information? Can people Charlie... speak up, please? You're not in the meeting. Will you be quiet? <laughs> How does one get to find out about these? Cross your eyes up, please! You have to contact the housing office. If you're not getting any response, then you contact your local councillor. Is that okay? You've got that information? Or there's like this. Is that your work? Yeah. 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 Don't work, come and see me, mate. Loads of money. Come and see me, loads of money, boysy. <laughs> okay. 
I'm coming to you, madam. Uh, sir, you, you had a concern. Just a backtrack, just a backtrack. <laughs> what this lady just said yes. is so true because back in the day, yes. people were like, um, that gentleman, and um, where's he gone? Where's he? Space man. Uh, yeah, that gentleman were considered shame men. They led communities. You see what I'm saying? They were go to people and what to do with the everyday affairs. And nowadays, they just look down upon and just shunned. And it's disgusting. Is that true? Yeah. Yeah. Everyone wants to be normal, don't they? Mm. Yeah. Climate is, you know, that's the orthodoxy. We've all got to believe that. So mm. everyone believes it. Have so, they done any research? No, none of them. So are we saying that, uh, as well as many other issues, climate change, climate crisis, for us residents here, is something that we should be concerned about? Yeah. Based yeah. on our learned friend that came and made a prophecy. Jason Ravensbottom. Can, can I just get a hands up from people that are concerned and think that we should do something now? Just to get a sense of what is in the room. And many people on Zoom. Thank you. Okay, so there's quite a lot of people who feel that we need to take action. Now, I need your help. Adam. Okay, because you're talking about climate change as what's what hearing on the news. Right. Now, talking to this young man here, yes. he wasn't... Well, we're being fed what's mm. on the news, aren't we? Yes. So right. what's, mm. they want us to see what they're putting in the air, as he oh, said. Yeah. Yeah. Right yeah. in the air, yeah. 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 Chopping yeah. down the trees. So, right. so they're creating this kind of change yeah. that we're Amen, my yeah. sister. Yeah. The rainforest, we can go, we can go oh, to so yeah. many different ways. Just watch what you hear on the news, because yeah. all of it is true. Okay. So we if must they, do our research? Yeah, everybody must reach out. Just because the news says it, yeah, doesn't sure, mean it's yeah. true. Exactly. Look at what the news says, and then look. Yeah. And then see. Okay, let's hear from this gentleman. Can I ask this lady, when is the last time it's been so hot in October? <laughs> last uh -huh. Do you have an answer? I don't, I don't have an answer. The cause of all the climate change lies with the same people who are telling everybody what to do about it. The greedy West with their industrialization and their thirst for money has caused it all. Mm. And they, they, they want everybody to be linked in with them to stop it. And that's not fair, because they're about the developing countries. They'll never a, they'll never a, a right to be able to grow um, and be just as successful as everybody else. Right. Your concern that it affects you in the wider diaspora. Can you say more about that? How it affects black and brown people. Mm -hmm. Climate change is often the people like me who always are acting and get the worst part of the deal. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. You know, within medical treatment, you know. Mm, that's right. You know, culture, cancer, for example, affects black men. But because it didn't affect white men as such, it wasn't in the news. But as soon as it started affecting white men, it's everywhere. Mm -hmm. So is this about race? True words. Everything's about race, boys. Yes. Um, yeah. Tell us more. It's about race. It's about class. I mean, it's black, brown, and poor people, whether they're white, black, or brown. Poor people always get the front of the problem. So, if climate change is going to have a detrimental effect on anyone, of course, it's going to affect the poorest and most vulnerable people in society. Environmental sense, racism. Right? Mm -hmm. Jason said that all the white people went to Scotland. That is correct. Mm -hmm. yeah. They all went to Scotland. But it will impact the global south first and then create refugees, which will then affect the global south. Yeah. 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 So yeah. 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 Fruit and vegetables. Mm. Mm. Sir, I'm frustrated because I think I'm, I'm building on your point where we've, we've got a news item who sets the agenda. Yes. Mm. And in setting the agenda, we're talking about climate change and our children are being killed in Croydon. Mm. Yes. Mm. I'm, talking, so I'm not saying it's not important. The question is, is that the most important and urgent thing for us to be doing right now? Or do we come together as a community and start to ask the questions about how do we protect our young? How do we grow um, principles? How do we start to... Th well, one of the hardest questions, I think, for, say, our generation, is we talk about the youth, our young boys being whatless. When you then ask the question, who brought them up? You then have to look in the mirror. And so... Is the problem really displacement? Mm. Or is the problem the way in which 
we as a community start to need to look inwards in terms of rather than blaming white, blaming climate change, blaming other, what is it that we have to do in terms of saying the problem is ours to solve yeah. in our young boys stabbing a young girl, calling a friend and actually saying how many times did you do it? Mm. Is it that a more immediate problem rather than trying to figure out how much whether it's one degree or three degrees? Mm. Can I get a hands up for people about what we've just heard? Is that something we should be concerned about right now? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hands up if anybody's interested, yeah, yeah, yeah. even the people on Zoom. Yeah. <laughs> 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 of course, many of those children will come from our state. As the good gentleman said, this has been going on for generations. And whether we called it in our, back in our own teen years, shanking, um, you know, it's, it's been going on for generations. Even for Jamaicans coming over when the political parties in Jamaica have hit one Jamaican against the other because of false promises that were never followed through. This has been an issue that's been going on for decades. Sure. Mm -hmm. so, so, yeah, I'm, I'm coming to one by moment. For me, like, reconnecting with the land can help us reconnect with ourselves and with the community. So for me, like, yeah, grounding. In agreement with the statement made by this gentleman over here and the lady over here, you know, I'm on the lucky side of the fence. I get demonised for that. But at the end of the day, what I see from that side is even more disheartening than the treatment that I persevere on the estate. When I'd like to do the odd bit of lobbying for the old wind rush and a bit of, you know, your reparations and stuff, sat in front of Diane Abbott. She was so passionate about what she had to say. Expletives were flying from her. Not Diane. Yes, Jerry Corbyn was on the periphery talking about, I'm not going in there. So I thought I'd have a sneak That's here into his, see what his lobbying meeting was about. <laughs> he was just surrounded by a bunch of Voldemort cloaks. I mean, what sort of chance do you have of caring for anything, let alone yourself? He's been subdued and pacified and the rest of it. He's no longer invited to the black cookout, if you ask me. But beyond that, at the end of the day, when you're saying over your TikToks and your, your social media, everything that's just promoting all of the solipsism that you see in the youth today, so that they're in a mindset of like, <coughs> stabbing somebody to death to having sex. This is the mindset of the youth. Order, order, order. If this is the thank you, sir. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. Uh, I'll take this gentleman here. I'll take this gentleman here. I'll come, I'll come to you. I just want to connect. A couple of things. I don't think it's that either or, because I think it's going back to what that um, woman over there was saying and what your brother was saying. I think it's local and global. I don't think it's, I don't think it's one or the other. So if you talk about connecting to the, my parents are Jamaican, so most people in Jamaica really come from the country, but most people don't have land. Yeah, in terms of the, the, the island itself, because most of the wealthier land is owned by a few. Mm -hmm. It's the same system that was, imp was imported over there, same system that exists here. So, mm -hmm. a lot of people, even you talk about talking, so grounding, I do that. Yeah, but the fact is, I do that in a local park behind where I live, mm -hmm. but you don't have your own land. Yeah? So, for me, whether it's the global south or whether it's a local area, we don't have our own land. It's still the 1% who owns the majority of what it is. It's the 1% who's polluted, whether it's Jamaica through bauxite right. or whatever mm -hmm. else it is, or over here through coal or whatever it might be. It's still the, 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 the minority who are causing the pollution and all these yeah. kind of things. So I think it's not just, it's not a choice because I think the conditions you live in, the, the place you live in Croydon, the way you grow, makes your mentality a certain way, leads to certain things, etc., etc. I think it's all connected. Yeah, it's all connected. So I think we have to, yeah. what, what's the word, the phrase? I don't want to say it of an example, but what's the word? Think, local, act, global, whatever it is, mm. that phrase is. But I think both of them have got to be in there at all times. Because you can't really prioritise one above the other. Because at some point, I don't think it's... Look, we're all contributing to some degree to what is happening. And it's not just fiction. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the hurricanes, the floods, the whatever it is. That's not fiction. That's, I don't care what's on the news. My mum lives somewhere. There's a thing happening where she's living. Yeah. It's a fact. Yeah, somebody lives in the state somewhere. There's a flood. This is a fact. 
don't, I don't care who owns the media in that sense. Some of these things are fact. October, warm October is warm October. Do you know what I mean? So eventually at some point, it will catch us all. Sons, daughters, grandchildren, etc. So I don't think we can distinguish and say it's one or the other. I think it's putting a tapestry together in some ways and working local, but at the same time connecting that to the global picture as well. You're, you're, you're shaking your head, so you agree? Yeah, yeah. And the way the, way the, the local and the global connect, uh, and the way climate change connect to racism. So the war in Syria started with, uh, with, uh, with a drought and a dry, dry land, farmer starving. That's what started all the social unrest, then it became political, then next thing you know you got a civil war, got millions of people in the street, and we don't want to open our door to them, yeah? Mm. They're, they're brown. So look, with Ukraine, we, we, have, we didn't have a problem. It was all, you know, we, we'll send people with computers and we'll, we'll treat your case and welcome. And all the Syrians, they were like, yeah, you, you know, you wait and go on, we got your cousins, yes. you know, we'll... And, and that started with climate change, man. Okay, madam. I'm, I'm coming, I'm coming, I'm coming. We need to start in this community and set an example for the rest of the world. And if we work together and make it a reality, the ideas we have, it'll spread out like ripples in a pond. Okay. Somebody over here? Yes. Yeah. Madam, here, and then I'll come no, to you. No, no, no. Let's just go, please. Okay. Time is short. Uh, my original point, sir, you mentioned Lodge earlier on, so if you're a member of the Freemasons, they originally stated that they were set up to do community courses, they can perhaps provide some funding to improve the state of our state. Secondly, in relation to grounding and ownership over land, if we were somehow to encourage the young adults who are already feeling that they should be represented their ends, to participate in taking care of the estate, the gardening, their area, and creating oh, wow. some sort of sense of pride. Mm -hmm. Perhaps mm -hmm. that might encourage some maturity that may spill out into the way that they are thinking about crime or things like that. I don't know, it's not my lane. But um, I was quite interested when you dropped the lodge in, into the mm -hmm. top, into the, uh, with what you were saying to the scientists about how you're letting out our secrets. Yeah, you because if you're mate. saying you're on the better mm -hmm. side of things, what are you doing to contribute to this problem other than posturing? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's interesting, that's interesting. Madam, can I hear what you've got to say? <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, let's keep quiet, please. Thank you. One of the most valuable things about my life is that I've lived a long time. So I've learned quite a lot and the consequences of what happens. I'm also very aware that we've all been colonised. Mm. It doesn't matter where in the world. <laughs> Uh, we've all been colonized to believe that this is the right way we ought to live life. And here, on our community, in our state, what I would choose to do is that we support families, not only in terms of what we think they ought to do in terms of their culture, because we have several cultures here, and to respect all of our cultures. And sometimes that's difficult to do because some of the things that cultures do are a bit frightening or horrifying. But if we could do that and then work together, then we could support families, not only how they should live, but physically how they should be in their environment. We can change that environment. We have the power within our community to do that even if we have to rely on this guy's money. We create our own way of making that and we support people to learn from each other. We've got resources here in our community, in our estate, that would actually help us to learn how to live together from early age all the way through to how we manage with old people. And being an old person, I <laughs> begin to old. learn the consequences of all the lives. However, it's a bit crazy. My ideas are a bit crazy. But actually, I think we've got what we need, and if we haven't, we've got the power to go and get it for us. Revolution. How many people are down with this? Yeah. Yeah.
Spanish yeah. community find a one? Being oh, self-sufficient yeah, yeah. and working together as a community yeah. to collectively um, be an advantage with, with, by supporting each other. So yeah, why can't it work in an urban setting? Why can't it work on this estate? Is there anybody that's spoken wants to speak? I'm just going back to what this gentleman was saying about um, parents um, having the influence on their children and their upbringing. Of course that is fundamental, right. the way we bring our children up. But also I think that young people, um, even young black men, yes. are also influenced by their peers. Oh, yeah. Whether they go to school with, who their friends are, who they're hanging out with on this day, that plays a massive part in how they conduct themselves. Mm. So as parents, we can do our best to bring our ch children up, mm. which we do do, but who they're hanging out with or hanging around with also plays a big part. Mm. And they want to impress their friends some of the time. They want to be part of a gang or don't want to be made fun of. So I think their peers plays a massive part. With the social media as well. Yeah. Yes. In the contact. Yeah. 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 You shake your head and laugh that's going on. Yeah. I suppose that um, the best way. Two different points. So the, the point about the, the gentleman eventually over there about what's important, climate change and all so on. I think there are two different, they're not necessarily competing points, they're equally important. Mm -hmm. How, that said, in terms of life and humanity, humanity, that our starting point has to be that we've all got to be operating from a, ba a place of humanity with regard to the environment, with regard to how we relate to other people, with regard to institutions. Um, the, the solution for the circumstance of death for young black men in this country is not unique to the United Kingdom. It's reflected in America. It's reflected in, in other countries all around the world, where, where in France. So, this is not a unique problem. So there's something structurally that's going on, interacting with that, that's making that an issue. And so institutions have a responsibility, but we must also take our own personal responsibility within a family, as an individual, but in all, in all ways, it's about us revisiting what our humanity is really about, because we are part of nature, we are part of the cosmos, we are part of everything, we come from the earth and go back to the earth. And everything that's happening in our environment must be important. I'll take you and then I'll come back to you. We've got eight more minutes. We, we must find a way to move forward from tonight, if there is a way or if there's anything we can do. So, I mean, then, sir. To me, that's easy said than done. When um, in schools, the, the, young, the youngest of the young are taught, and taught from a very um, s a small age yes. about Great Britannia, glory, or all the good that it's done, whatever, and ignoring all the serious stuff they've done. You see what I'm saying? And it brings them up to be, what's the word? Um, cause, patriotic. Sorry? Patriotic. Not patriotic, especially the young one, the young black one. They soon <laughs> learn that that is all not the case for them. They are left out of that. You seem cynical. You're a centric, the madam is saying, on Zoom. No, cynical. Yeah, no, there's another <laughs> word. You know when, when, you, when, you, <laughs> when, when you turn, like, I don't like to use the word lazy, but, um... I hate that word. But, oh yeah, I don't like it either. <laughs> but, um, they're excluded as well, okay? Um, and they have to fight for everything they've got, and it's not fair. You okay. see what I'm and they feel that, and that, that produces the elitist system with white at the top and black at the bottom, and anything else has to follow suit between that. So that will keep the status quo, and it's never going to change until it starts with the primary schools. So that's well, the point of the education system. Okay, I'm going to go here, and then I'm going to come over here. Two, I said two, two, that's two, a two, direct two, conflict. Two, sorry, sir. Thank you. Sorry, thank you, sir. Thank so, you. Just before me, you were going to, you had your hand up. Yeah, 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 no, yeah, I'm just yeah. thinking in terms of young people as well. Like, they're sorry. coming into this kind of doomsday scenario. All that we ever hear about is the turbulence in the world and the fires and the floods and they're almost as if they haven't got any agency to do, to do anything and I kind of think they're in stressful environments enough anyway growing up in London, growing up on our estate and then to have that it's like well what's the point you know when I was that age I had a lot of hope and it was wonderful the world was you know you could look out on the world but now it feels like you're just hitting a brick wall and I just think the anxiety you know Covid lockdown it's like how do we sort of 
empower young people in a way to think that they've got a place and a part and that they can help because nobody wants to be going around stabbing or being stabbed or having fights mm. or what have you and it's up to us to help shape that environment so that they can thrive because we're, we're not allowing them to thrive. Okay, I'm going to go here and I'll come to you, sir. I have a proposal for our community, uh, which is community centres. Yeah. They've all been, <laughs> most of them been closed down. Mm-hmm. Young people, so what I'm getting, they need both skills training, but also spiritual mm-hmm. connection to nature. So somewhere where they can go, where they can get practical skills, for example, help the neighbours insulate their house, mm-hmm. um, put in double glazing, install, learn how to install solar panels, learn how to grow. So I think we need much more, uh, also learn from older people in the community. And yeah. Yeah. Well, we need to use this community centre that we've got on the estate to the best of our ability, yeah. with yeah. the skills and things we need to pull out of us. Sir? Yeah, just uh, speaking to one of the men on the um, estate. Yes. Um, what he does, or what he has been doing, is for us, is, is no, no, I'm going to spill it, yeah. I'm, ha- I'm happy for you to... Go to spill it? But basically, he's an entrepreneur, yeah. So... <laughs> <laughs> he, he, he himself, yeah. So... Gardening. Gardening. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. oh, yeah. oh, yeah. He's my lama. He's a weeder, yeah. He weeds, yeah. Okay. Is that the, 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 thing, <laughs> the thing is I'm saying that is, is, at the moment, the market, the, what he used to have, is not flourishing because of climate change. Okay. But his skills as an entrepreneur is something that you can pass on to the people in the community. So in my mind, when I was listening to him, he was talking about it in a way where it seemed like it was blocked. But he has networks in the Caribbean, he has networks in, Af- in the African continent, and I'm sure he's got networks around here. So for me, the, <laughs> the skill that you're using or you feel has been blocked at the moment I think it's something that, I'm saying we've got resources in the community. Yes. Like for example, entrepreneurs. You're talking about him skilling people around, um, we call it green skills, etc. Just shift it. Mm-hmm. Yeah, shift the angle of where you're looking at and pass that around the community. So I'm saying it's here. Okay. Okay. Business yeah. is one of the things that yes. gets out. Yeah. I'm going to be controversial, but why must we settle with our community? No disrespect to the brother, mm-hmm. but when it comes to, we need to go higher up the evolution change. Mm-hmm. 18 months ago, there was a photograph of activist with Greta Thunberg. Remember her? Mm-hmm. Thunberg. Was it? Greta Thunberg. Thunberg. Mm-hmm. And she was taking. She took a photograph of her beside other activists. And right beside her was a young black mm-hmm. activist. Yes. Yeah. And the media. Uh, can you repeat that so they can hear it? They popped her out. Yeah. Exactly. So it looked like only you know you kind of had this kind of like yeah. white saviour. Yeah. Control. Mm. Industry plant. So what are you saying? Time to run about about this community. So what are you saying? Um, Get to the point, sir. What time to run about. Is that we need to go higher. We need to go beyond the community centre. Mm-hmm. Okay, here. Mm-hmm. We've spoken a lot about what we need to give people like skills and things, but we're not talking about that. We need to talk about themselves. Because I think a lot of the problems that we have is people we don't love ourselves and then we don't respect another person because we can't. We can't love ourselves. Like if we don't love ourselves, how can we love the planet we're in? How, if we don't love ourselves, how can we think about the future of our children and everybody mm-hmm. else's children? Mm-hmm. So I think at the core of everything, social media, the music, it's all teaching us to have hate in our hearts. Mm-hmm. So we can't move forward if we don't solve that first and foremost. Mm-hmm. And so we have to love us, even as individuals, when we're out here, we're angry at people. Oh, why do they do this? Why do they do that? Why are people doing this? Maybe we stop and say, I love myself, I love the people around me, and then start from that place, that might actually cause it all the change. Right, we've literally got two minutes left. Madam, here, here, and then I'm going to take you. So, all of them. I think it's really important for our children to know where they came from, that we are great people, that history didn't start slavery. Yes. So if right. we know who we are, and even the children that are selling drugs, I've walked up to someone and I said to them, what is it that you do that will make, you know, that people will buy? And they started laughing. I said, no, that will get you locked up. And then they started telling me about their dreams and aspirations. Mm. I went to actually have a go at them because of something they'd done to somebody else. But then we ended up talking about, I said, if you run a business, you can run a business. Mm-hmm. And that's letting those children know that they can change. Yes. Yeah, there's something that he said that really struck me. Mm. Sorry, I don't know your name. My name is Bumpy. 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 Bump
Um, you um, said, Sahab, I think what I heard, I wasn't quite sure, you said that they cropped out the black guy and they left Greta. Black girl. Black girl. Yeah. Black girl. The black girl and left Greta in yeah. the image. The industry plot. And, and I think <laughs> what we're getting to, what I've always felt, is that climate change and climate change activism has a very white face to it. Mm. And it always has sure. made me wonder why it is that white people could be so passionate about climate change but they're not passionate about institutionalized mm -hmm. racism, the kind of violence sure. that mm -hmm. meted upon black people, the oppression mm -hmm. that black and brown sure. people feel. Mm -hmm. I know people, white, right. good white people, who go out and protest for climate change who would never dream of going out mm. and doing anything about Black Lives Matter. I'm talking about it. older people, I'm not talking about the young people, but mm. older people. So I'm kind of figuring like what you're saying is that I believe we can chew gum and walk at the same time. We can be interested and care about climate change mm -hmm. and care about what's happening in our communities. Mm -hmm. But I am concerned that climate change is something that is more attractive to mm -hmm. white people than it's it is to black people. For us, the immediate is very deadly. I'm not saying that the issue is trendy and fashionable, mm -hmm. but the way in which it is being projected is very fashionable and very attractive to certain white people. And what we are suffering from gets ignored by a large part yeah. of society. And we are being affected by the racism and oppression in society, many of which are propped up by these lovely white people who go out protesting climate change. So I think we have to be really, really, really honest and clear about that, white people and black people, about the dynamic that's going on here. Mm. And I think that's a problem why a lot of black people don't get involved in climate change, because they figure it belongs to white people. They have the ability and the time and the leisure to go and complain and worry about climate, whereas we are trying to survive every day. Yo, yeah, guys, listen. I know we had an issue. We had an issue, yeah, with our community garden for the 75th anniversary. Can you but get you know it what? Tarpaulin? Listen, are you still alive? It's all right? tarpaulin. Yeah. Yeah. However, we can rebuild it, yeah? Yes, we can. We have the technology. We got three. Because it's called community. Is it? And as a community from the old school, we don't need outsiders, yeah? We don't need money. It's about people. It's about exactly. your heart. Yes. It's about dedication. <laughs> yeah? And we can do that as a community. Even with Captain Spaceman. Yeah? Up line levels. Up line levels. <laughs> yeah? We can do this. We've got to build back the community. Yes. For the wind rush. For the younger generation. Yeah? Well, which one? The wind rush or the younger generation? We can get those CCTV cameras to protect our younger generation. Guys, yeah? guys, guys, I've got bad news. You can't. What? What? The original one you built without planning permission. How do you think these things work? You can't just build things in the city. You've got to get, you got to get the permission from the council before you do this. No! This is for the community. That's how it works. Oh, no, it's not my decision. I'm just the messenger. Don't shoot the messenger. Why not? <laughs> I warned you. I said, do you have planning permission? And instead of you answering me, all you were able to do is tell me, coconut this. Uh, but if the shoe like the fits, no, 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 no. <laughs> if the shoe fits, what I can do, yeah, find out all the information, put you in, so you can do the due process, make an application, and build it up for the community. That's gonna take what? years. If you want to be part of the community, you know what? Put your hand in your mouth, bitch. Mm -hmm. Do something. There, you're part of the community. That's the wrong channel, mate. I ain't got time for that. Yeah, right? Yeah, yeah. because just say. Hey, 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 hey. Are you seeing? Boss, boss, boss. Have you seen what happened to us? <laughs> I've lost, I've, I've lost my eyesight. I went down to the doctors about my, about my cataracts. I told them how, how, how I was, and they sectioned me. They said, hey, come on, they sectioned me. And I've lost my, my, my sight. Now I'm out, and I've lost my sight. I can't work no more. Come on, watch your back, you feel good for you, boys. <laughs> I want that part of the shirt. Listen, what's that part of the shirt? I've got to make a bundle. 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 Now, Bumpy, there's some serious stuff going on at the community centre. Yeah, right? Bumpy, you need to get yourself here because we've got some issues.
issues here that only you, as the chairman, Bumpy, can address. So what is this? Three blind mice? <laughs> we need adequate leadership for this community. It's frittering away at an alarming rate. And all I'm hearing is excuses. Okay, it's pathetic. Can you do any better, Bumpy, man? Of course. Yes. Let's let start. Let let we need to rally up outside the commons. Okay, okay, this isn't okay, just about okay, lobbying for okay, okay, anymore. No, no, okay. Okay. Let me just ask you. I'm sorry, I'm tired of what you call me. Okay, okay. 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 I'm back to the party conference. You're a bad sort. You're of use to me. Yeah, yeah, wait, wait. I'm getting the yeah. carousel. Yeah. This is not standing right, gentlemen. Thank you. I think that you're ready for promotion. Thank you. But first, we need to take it straight to the commons. Now. Yes. Members of the one Ladies and gentlemen, oh. you see the protests. You see the members of the community on their stakes. They're protesting. So what we're going to do is protest. And this is not just Looney Tunes. It's a meter out over a minuet. <laughs> <laughs> I want you to hum this little song. Okay? I want you to hum this song. Do, 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 do. Okay. Oh. <laughs> That's my mind changing, all that climate change. <laughs> anyway, I'll give you the Marijuana Five. Pearl! <laughs> <laughs>